Welcome back to Robinson's Automotive Tools and Time.com. Today we have this 2016 Chevy Silverado. And we're going to go in there and see if we can figure this out for the customer. He's been chasing the EVAP code for quite some time. I think he's changed the purge solenoid, the vent solenoid. He's coming up with a code. I just ran a scan. We're going to go in there and see what it revealed. Got it up on the lift um, to show you what kind of direction I'm going to go into. All right, today we'll be using the Snap on Zeus Plus. This has the fast track intelligent diagnostics built into it. Um, as you can see, we have a P0449, and it gives you. Now take a moment and review this code definition evaporation emission system vent solenoid circuit. I want you to hold on to that word circuit because that's a key point. Um, they're saying vent solenoid. What is the customer states that he has replaced? Right now I have the key on. What I want to do is go into special functions, vent solenoid, and I want to see if I could command it. All right, it says it has a malfunction, so it might not. So that's usually a circuit problem when the, and that's what the code is referring to is a circuit problem. So what if we go in there, we know what we have now. All right, this one's located on top of the charcoal canister. Right up top here. And yeah, it looks like a new one's been placed in there. I'm not sure if that's aftermarket tape. Uh, we're going to unplug the sensor, we're going to check the solenoid, and then if that tests okay, then we're going to go to the harness. I got you a good shot up here. This plug is broke, number one. Let's see if I can take it and turn this cylinder valve here. We're going to do a little resistance check. Just using this DVOM because my battery died on my other one. We've got 18.5 ohms. We'll see if that's within tolerance. So we're gonna leave this guy be. I'm gonna lightly front probe these. Okay. This battery might be getting a little low up there because I, I don't know. Anyway, it should be around 12 volts. If I have a test light, I should be able to illuminate it on that. Let's see if we have, all right, so I'm not reading anything here. All right, let me put one side to positive and the other side to a good ground over here. Nothing here. And, oh, there you go. There's a good ground. Yeah, the key's been on for quite some time, so the battery might be low, low, but we're reading 11 volt, volts there. No volts here. This should be a good ground. It's never gonna turn on that solenoid valve, because right now that solenoid valve should be open. So according to the service data that I'm going off of, when it's not given the ground control, it'll have power positive on both sides. It should be 12 volts. But I'm not sure if that's back probing it because it's going through the coil or if that's an open circuit. So what I'll do is I'll get the uh, scan tool and I'll, I'll command it both directions. And I should see something change here. Let's see if we show anything now. Or should we send it at ground now? Nothing. Okay, so we have power, but no ground. Let me move this out of our way. So, we know, looking at our service data, let's pull these wires back. This red with light green is our power. We have power on it. Oh, <laughs> I see your problem already. Can you guys see that? We got a broken wire. See the green crusties? 
All right, well, there's your problem. Well, there's a problem. So I was looking at this before. I don't know, is this original? Let's, let's peel this back. It's not what you were expecting, is it? All right, let's strip that back. So this is the ground control. Let me put this back up here for you guys to see. I'm gonna go in here. Oop. I got the camera rolling just to catch it. I'm gonna check the voltage. On what we were checking before. It doesn't matter which way we hold it. It just happened negative in front of it. So as you can see, we have a good ground now back to this part. Um, like I said, the battery's starting to drain out. I'm gonna see if I could turn the vent on. Let's see if that gets any better. All right, now the battery's just starting to go dead in the car. So at least right now we know that we have ground present there. I'm gonna see if I can pick up a pigtail, fix that, and take it from there. All right, so we just put a pigtail on it, tapped it in, uh, crimped, heat shrink, and taped up the harness. We're ready to test it out. There you go, it's venting. And we're back in service. Now we'll clear the codes. Uh, take for a ride, see if we get the monitors to complete. I'll probably just send it off with the customer. It should be good.